Let's talk about some amazing Nintendo Switch games that are going to give you bang for your buck. I mean, talking many, many hours of gameplay, you're going to spend $50, $60, $70 on a game. Will you be able to play it for hundreds of hours or even more? And I wanted to look at games from this calendar year, from the year 2023 specifically, and holy smokes. We had some amazing games that came out this year that I put dozens upon dozens of hours into on the Nintendo Switch. So I came up with this idea because my son had just finished a game in the springtime of this year and he put a lot of time into it. I mean, a lot of time. And my wife said, wow, that's great. Talk about getting your money's worth. Those were her exact words. And I thought, huh, that's a great concept for a video. And one I really hadn't thought of before. So I'm not gonna show you the obvious ones like from the past. I'm sure you've all played Mario Kart Deluxe, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, yes. That game is the game that keeps on giving with all of the DLC and booster booster course packs. That game will never ever die. So you can play that till, uh, for 40 more years you can play that game. Or I'm not gonna also talk about like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, another game of course that you can play for an eternity. So let's dive into it. I'm gonna start with a game that I just finished um, just the other day, actually. This, here it is. This is Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And you can see here, I'm gonna show you my statistics from my Nintendo Switch. You can see I put in over 55 hours into this game. And by the way, uh, there's still more for me to do. I still haven't even 100%ed the game. I got very close, but there are still side things that I can go and do and explore get a few wonder seeds. There's one particular level that I just could not beat. I talked about that in a previous video, but 55 hours Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I've said it in other videos. I think it's the it's a masterpiece. It's probably the greatest of all Super Mario Brother 2D platformers of all of the games. I'm even saying that I think it beats Super Mario Brothers 3. Yes, I know. I said it. I said it. I think that this is even better than Super Mario Brothers 3 uh, and 55 hours. And what I love about this game is it's bite size. You can just jump in and play it for a few minutes and tackle a level, like if you're waiting for something or you know, you have to pick your kids up at, at a soccer game or whatever, and you have 10 minutes to play it in the car. Or if your kids are waiting for the bus or something, they can just jump in and play a quick level and advance in the game and get a lot of enjoyment out of it. You don't feel like you have to dive in and commit a couple of hours at a time, but it's bite size and you can over and over and over come back to this game. So Super Mario Brothers Wonder, 55 hours is how many hours I put into this game. Loved it. Another game that I beat and absolutely loved, this is the first time I'd ever played a Pikmin game. And I picked up Pikmin 4, so this was the first time I played a Pikmin game, and I loved it. So Pikmin 4, I put in over 50 hours, you can see here in my statistics. 50 hours I played Pikmin 4. I beat this game, and what a joy. I mean, this, this game just had me smiling the entire time. And this is a... Look, I'm 46 years old. I loved the game. I loved the strategy. I loved, you know, having to to, to use my Pikmin and, and go out into the field and, and attack and, and also bring back objects. And I loved the strategy of having to figure out how to navigate these little worlds. And I loved Ochi, the dog. They added a dog to this game. Now it's going to be hard. I, I bought Pikmin 1, 2, and 3 on the Nintendo Switch. So I, they're all available now on the Nintendo Switch, a great little library of games to all be available on the Switch. But Ochi, the dog, is not in the previous ones. So it's gonna be very interesting to me. I wanna go back and play the first ones and, and experience those games without Ochi. But again, over 50 hours into Pikmin 4, this is a game you're gonna get a lot of money's worth playing this game. And there's a lot of replayability of it too to be able to come back uh, and continue to play the game. All right, I never played Red Dead Redemption when it first came out, but they just released it on the Nintendo Switch this year. And we were traveling at the time. The reason this this one, this copy is not opened yet is because I bought the digital version of it, but I had to buy a physical because I'm a physical game collector. This game came out originally in the year 2010, and this was in my black hole of video game playing where I just absolutely missed this game. I never got a chance to play it. And I love Western films. I love the enjoyment of just the open world design of being able to jump on your horse and go hunt down some outlaws and you can choose your path. Do you want to be a good lawman or do you want to be an outlaw? This is a mature game, of course. So there's a lot of violence. There's some, uh, there's some, you know, there's some questionable scenes uh, that I don't want to get into, but uh, yes, definitely for more of a mature audience, but it's a fantastic game. If you've ever watched like a, a really good Western, that's what this game is all about. And I just had a blast. The storyline is fantastic and it has so many hours of great gameplay to take you off on side quests. You can do all sorts of different side missions and enjoy the game even still. I completed the main mission 
did a whole slew of side quests that I loved, but I could go back and still do more in this game. And the best part about this release, this physical release of Red Dead, if you get it the digital or the physical, I always prefer the physical, but it also comes with Undead Nightmare, which is a, a totally separate game where you're hunting down zombies. So again, that's a whole different uh, game that you get to have on this one cartridge. So not only do you get the main game, but you get all of the additional Undead Nightmare content as well. Right, next on my list is a game that I played for the Halloween season and absolutely loved this mystery Lovecraftian dredge where you play the boat captain on a ship um, where you're a dredging ship, but you go out and fish and you dredge up items and you dredge up memories and mysteries and boy, I loved this game. I got the deluxe edition, so it of course comes with an additional DLC. I put in over 25 hours, as you can see here in my statistics, had a blast playing this game, and there was so much more that I could have done. I did a ton of side quests. I think I almost did all of them, but I know there were more that I didn't. I completed the main story. There's an additional DLC if you get the deluxe edition, but this was a, a beautiful game. The art style I found to be fascinating, really beautiful to look at. I found the eeriness of the game pushed me further and further and further to get to the bottom of this story, this creepy story where you're around this lighthouse and you're having to dredge up different things from the bottom of the sea and you're talking to different innkeepers and, and creepy fishmongers and piecing all of the story together it was really, really great. I love the fishing mechanic using, you know, being able to actually, the whole game is about fishing and dredging things up. So that mechanic better be darn good. And it was, I really enjoyed it. But talk about getting a lot of bang for your buck. This is a bit of a different game, you know, if you're used to like Mario Brothers platforming games or Legend of Zelda style games. No, this is a this is a different style of game and I would encourage you just to give it a shot. If you wanted to get it as a gift for someone, I think they would really, really enjoy it. Especially if you've got any mystery lovers in your family uh, who like a, a good mystery, a good thrill. I think you'll really enjoy this game. There's a lot of parts of it that were super creepy too. Another one of my favorite games of the year that I put a lot of hours into is Fire Emblem Engage. This goes back to January of 2023. Love this game. My son and I both played and beat it. 26 different levels of pure joy navigating through this story. That doesn't even take into account all of the side quests and side missions and battles that you can get into and skirmishes and everything else, but that's just 26 chapters of the main mission. Then, of course, they released the DLC, which is also fantastic, really large. I put into, it was funny, I, I didn't know how many hours I put into this game, so I got the cartridge out and I fired it up in my Nintendo Switch, and I couldn't believe, over 80 hours I put into this game, over 80 hours, and there were still skirmishes and side missions and things that I didn't complete. So, an amazing game, I highly recommend it. If you're into turn-based strategy games, turn-based RPG games, this is an absolutely a game for you. I, I highly recommend it. And my son didn't know what to expect. He'd never played a Fire Emblem game before. I never played a Fire Emblem game before, but we fired it up together and had a blast playing it. He fell in love with the game, so did I. It started off a little slow. If you can get past the first few chapters, holy smokes, it just explodes. It's really enjoyable. But I would say give it a chance. Really dive into the lore behind this. There's so many things you can do um, to level up and um, to make friends and these relationships that you develop. Really, really dense game that can just give you many, many dozens of hours of enjoyment. So Fire Emblem Engage, that's a big recommendation for me. A lot of bang for your buck. All right, we've got two more on my list, games that are gonna give you a lot of bang for your buck. And I absolutely loved Metroid Prime Remastered. Now, this game came out early part of the year. It was a bit of a shadow drop by Nintendo, kind of stunned everyone that this was gonna be released in this way. I have to tell you, this is one of the best games I've ever played. Of course it is, right? And this is one of the best Nintendo games ever made when they released it originally. And the remaster just takes it to a whole nother level. I looked at my statistics for this and you can see here, I put in over 55 hours into this game. And there's, by the way, I still didn't even 100% the game. There are still things that I could have discovered and found, missile, uh, missile uh, compartments and, and different upgrades that I, I probably missed. I thought I got most of them but I know that there was still more out there that I could have gotten. Um, this game, of course, when it were first released was a classic, an instant classic, it was a masterpiece. So Retro Studios and Nintendo did the re-release of this and they just, I think they rebuilt the game from the ground up. The music, the atmosphere, the gameplay, the, the first person shooting perspective of this game is just 
second to none. It was absolutely beautiful. I had a blast playing this game. So many hours of traversing through this map and trying to find where these things were hidden to, to locate the next boss, the next piece of the puzzle, the next mystery. And it's funny in 2023, normally in games like this, we're used to like breadcrumbs along the way to, to know that we've already come through this particular area. Oh, in this game, there's no breadcrumbs. You're on your own. And I would almost highly recommend even getting, you know, a strategy guide. They're cheap to pick up. You could find a strategy guide that you could order online and sit down and have a strategy guide kind of in your lap if you get stuck, help you navigate the maps. I love strategy guides since I was a kid and I would take my Nintendo guidebook to school. No one needs to be stuck for seven hours trying to find their way through a game. If you get a little help from a map, a strategy guide, that'll just make your overall gameplay a little bit more enjoyable so you can get back to the gameplay and uh, not be stuck for so, so long. So highly recommend uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. 55 hours of gameplay. Definitely a game that'll give you a lot of bang for your buck. All right, I've saved the best for last. There's no bigger game this year for me than the amount of hours I put into this game. 270 hours. Yes, 270 hours into The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And by the way, I could put in another 200 hours into this game. Uh, I absolutely loved this game. There was a period this summer, I'll just give you a I took my kids to a summer camp and uh, they I, I stayed nearby them at this summer camp because it was in another country and I, I rented a little cottage, but I brought Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That was the only game I was going to play. And for almost the entire time that I was there in the woods, I was playing down in the depths of this game. Now, I'm not going to give away any spoilers or anything like that about the game, but just know there's an entire underworld underneath the main part of the world that you can explore. And I just had a blast for a week or so, just one week exploring this whole underground area and trying to find all of the light routes and to get all of those completed. And I had a blast doing it. I'd, I'd have some coffee after I woke up in the morning and I would just play it for hours. Absolutely love this game. So many side missions, so many side quests, so many things to discover and, un, and uh, to uncover. And, uh, and of course, then you have the main story. Like, even if you complete the main story, uh, there's still so much more that you can do in this game. So I actually could go back and do another couple hundred hours into this game. That's how much I enjoy playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And of course, if you love this game and you've never played the original Breath of the Wild, uh, when the Nintendo Switch first launched eight years ago, it's worth picking that game up too. I mean, I don't know that there's a bigger game that can give you more bang for your buck with a storyline and quests than The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Again, yes, with Mario with Mario Kart 8 and, uh, and Super Smash Brothers and all of those games, yes, you can get many, many hours playing with your friends. But I'm talking about a storyline with tons of things to do and see and explore. To me, it doesn't get any better than that. 270 hours. It's crazy when I look at my profile and statistics. And I'm like, oh my God, I really put that much time into this game. And I had a blast doing it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Because that's the thing, right? We want to enjoy these games, but we want to get as much uh, value out of them as possible. And, uh, and and enjoy them for as long as we can. If, if we really are into that game, why cut it off? Why turn it off? Let me know your thoughts. For 2023, were there games that you put a lot of hours into? Drop me a comment below. I would love to hear it. I have a, there's a, quite a few other games on my list that I didn't include here, but this is just, a, I think, a good, a good starting place for you to pick up some great games that are going to give you a lot of bang for your buck. And we'll see you next time, everyone.